approximately 13.75 billion years in the past, our present-day universe came into existence. Soon after, the primordial light permeated the cosmos, spreading throughout the early universe. During this period, the universe experienced expansion, which, though initially rapid, eventually slowed down. However, the rate of expansion has been continuously accelerating due to the increasing influence of dark energy. Essentially, the cosmos has been steadily growing since its inception. For centuries, physicists and mathematicians have dedicated their efforts to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. Some scientists take an extra leap into the unknown, contemplating what lies beyond the boundaries of our universe. Could there be something else existing beyond our own universe? Perhaps other worlds whose existence remains a matter of speculation. Here, we present five theories about this possibility and explore the clues associated with each theory. If you enjoy our content, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to Cosmos Prodigy, and anticipating the exciting videos that await you in the future. Hubble Volume the concept of what lies outside the universe is a complex and challenging notion, as it requires a more precise definition of the universe itself. A formulation that better captures the essence of this matter is referred to as the observable universe, wherein the speed of light plays a crucial role. Our ability to see objects is limited to the distance that light can travel within the time span since the universe began. Cosmologists estimate that the farthest observable photons have traveled about 45 to 47 billion light years since the Big Bang, implying that the observable universe spans approximately 93 billion light years. Give or take a few light years. This observable region encompasses all the celestial bodies and phenomena that telescopes have detected so far, including quarks, quasars, stars, planets, nebulae, black holes, and more. Nonetheless, the observable universe is continually expanding while remaining finite in size, often referred to as the Hubble volume, in honor of the telescope that provided us with the farthest views to date. We are restricted by this boundary, unable to see beyond it, making it the only universe with which we can interact. However, it is widely believed, almost with certainty, that there is more universe beyond this limit. Astronomers hypothesize that the unseen space could also be infinite, with matter and energy distributed much like what we observe in the observable universe. Venturing beyond the Hubble volume, we might encounter planets similar to Earth and even alternate versions of ourselves living different lives. Cosmologists propose the existence of other Hubble volumes that are identical to ours, each containing versions of us making various choices and actions. This idea may seem improbable, but the vastness of the universe defies human imagination. To comprehend this, we can turn to the theory of relativity, which states that objects close together cannot move against each other faster than the speed of light. However, this restriction does not apply to objects extremely far apart when the space between them expands. In essence, it's not that objects move faster than light, but rather that space itself expands, causing them to move apart at remarkable speeds Ultimately, reaching the edge of the observable universe would require a transportation method capable of surpassing the speed of light, a notion considered implausible by most physicists, or traversing spacetime through concepts like wormholes or warp propulsion, which are also deemed highly improbable. Dark Flow In 2008, astronomers discovered something very strange that they had not expected. Galactic clusters were streaming in the same direction at immense speeds, over 2 million miles per hour. New observations in 2010 confirmed this phenomenon known as dark flow. Scientists discovered the phenomenon by studying some of the largest structures in the cosmos. Giant galaxy clusters. These clusters consist of approximately 1,000 galaxies and extremely hot gas emitting X-rays. By studying the interaction of X-rays with the cosmic microwave radiation, CMB, remaining from the Big Bang, researchers can analyze the motion of these galaxy clusters. When X-rays scatter photons into the CMB, a temperature shift occurs, known as the Sunyad-Zeldovich kinetic effect. 
This effect, which hadn't been observed before in relation to galaxy clusters, was first identified by a team led by Alexander Kashlinsky, an astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. They examined around 700 clusters located up to 6 billion light years away, situated halfway across the universe. The researchers compared these clusters with the CMB map obtained by NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe WMAP, satellite. Interestingly, the motion of these clusters defies predictions about the distribution of mass in the universe following the Big Bang. One potential explanation is the presence of massive structures outside the Hubble volume, which exert a gravitational influence. Scientists are highly confident that the origin of this gravitational attraction lies beyond our known universe. Consequently, the structure of the infinite universe is not uniform beyond our current perspective. As for the nature of these external structures, they could encompass an array of possibilities, ranging from vast accumulations of matter and energy on an unimaginable scale to peculiar fault lines conducting gravitational forces from other universes. Infinity Bubbles Discussing phenomena outside the Hubble volume might be misleading since it still pertains to the same universe, albeit parts that are beyond our observable reach. The fundamental physical laws and constants remain unchanged. In an alternative perspective, the universe's expansion after the Big Bang led to the formation of bubbles within the fabric of space. Each bubble stopped expanding in conjunction with the rest of space and developed into its own distinct universe with its unique laws and physical constants. According to this scenario, space itself is infinite, and each bubble represents its own infinity, as a single infinity can contain an infinite number of infinities. Even if one could somehow breach the boundary of a particular bubble, the space between these bubbles would continue to expand, preventing access to the next bubble, no matter how fast one moves. Black Holes Physicist Lee Smolin proposed a theory called the Theory of Fertile Universes, which posits that every black hole in our universe gives rise to a new universe. These new universes are characterized by slightly different physical laws compared to their predecessors. Smolin's idea suggests a form of natural selection for universes, where laws and conditions leading to frequent black hole formation also give rise to new universes, while universes that do not generate black holes eventually fade away. However, it's worth noting that Smolin and other researchers have since refuted this theory. Infinitely many parallel universes. There are countless theories regarding parallel universes, but the most widely accepted one today builds upon the concepts of string theory. This theory involves oscillating membranes and other dimensions. Exploring the intricacies of string or membrane theory is beyond the scope of this video. However, at its core, the theory suggests that rippling membranes in the 11th dimension represent entirely distinct universes. When these ripples collide, new universes are formed. The effects of this wave motion help explain the observed distribution of matter in our universe. One of the most peculiar aspects of this theory is the idea that all the gravity we experience in our universe actually originates from another universe in a different dimension. This notion clarifies why gravity appears significantly weaker compared to other fundamental forces. What do you think? Do other unknown worlds exist outside our universe? Does infinity exist? And if so, how infinite is it really? Leave us your opinion in the comments.